Hi everybody, uh, my name is Jordan. I'm from the Quant Walk, uh, Quant Grand Walk on our circular uh, graph group. Uh, I'm a grad student, the rest of us are undergrads with uh, not very much experience in Fiskit. Uh, and so this is a really great learning project for us. Uh, and so, next slide please. Uh, so, uh, most of us are, or two of us are physicists, the rest are CS. Uh, we're really interested in simulating uh, physical systems uh, and how that relates to you know, advancing research. Next slide. And so two really great uses of quantum random walks, which is just a quantum analog of the random walk on a, on a lattice, um, is uh, the first is in physics, which is exotonic transfer, which is the transfer of like energy vacancies uh, in you know, lattice structured systems. Um, and it's really useful to simulate the, uh, the movement of these exotons with the use of uh, random walks. Uh, and uh, um, a problem in computer science uh, is searches on binary trees. Uh, this is a wonderful paper by, by Childs et al. that I link uh, right here that discusses using a quantum random walk on a tree to uh, solve uh, the structure of like an, uh, a black box using an oracular or an oracle. Um, and so you essentially query uh, your oracle uh, with one node and it gives you the nodes that are connected to it and use a quantum random walk to traverse this tree uh, with the purpose of getting to the exit. Um, and on a classical computer using random walks, uh, or on a uh, lattice that doesn't have a, an efficient solution classically, uh, next slide, uh, the issue with using a random walk is that we often get stuck in the middle of the tree, and this is because once you're in the middle of the tree, there's many more paths that you can take to stay in the tree than paths that get you out of the tree and out to the end. And so we see you know, a distribution that is centered about the center, uh, whereas when you use a quantum walk, uh, due to just how wave packets propagate throughout space, um, you actually get to the to the end the end of your uh, tree much more efficiently. Um, and so, for the uh, these are not actual data figures, but you can find the data in the child's paper. Basically, classically, uh, for uh, random or for certain kinds of graphs, the best you can do is exponential time, whereas for uh, using uh, quantum random walks, it's linear, which is really helpful. Linear in depth, I should say. Uh, and so we wanted to, as a group, create a platform for uh, putting or for simulating uh, walks on different lattices. Uh, and so for a hackathon, we decided we'd want to start simple, so we used a cyclic, a cyclic graph. Uh, the reason why this is a really great simple case is because each node is connected to two other nodes, so you have only binary operations that you can do, uh, progressing and incrementing incrementing clockwise or decrementing counterclockwise. And this um, circuit, uh, you can find uh, the definition, definitions for increment and decrement in a paper in the conclusion. Uh, but you basically just put your sub node into your ancillary node into a superposition, hit it with these two gates, and you can traverse in both directions around uh, your lattice. And we have a video in the next slide. Uh, and so this is in a later time, but once we get back to t equals zero, you can see we start with the wave packet at the first node, and it uh, propagates uh, throughout the graph. Um, and so we see here, it propagates, because this is an even-noted graph, we're going to be flipping between odd nodes and even nodes, but on an odd-noted graph, we get um, much more uh, dispersion, sorry, uh, diffusion of the wave packet. Um, next slide. Uh, and so then also we created a tutorial for people to learn about random walks, to learn about this uh, beginnings of a framework that we created. Uh, our guys implemented this wonderful uh, and uh, n bit to Foley gate. Uh, right now it supports five bits, but hopefully we can expand it. Um, but yeah, you can find out uh, more about the algorithms that we used and uh, et cetera. Uh, and so here's our GitHub link. Um, I also spend time exploring how exactly to uh, um, implement the rock, the walk of the random tree. Uh, for, the, for the binary um, Cyclical graph, the, you just do a coin flip to figure out which direction you're going, but for a tree, you actually have what's called a Grover uh, coin, which is an uh, n sided coin, uh, which, you know, uh, hopefully in the future we can get the uh, quantum gates for that implemented, but that is our project. Thank you.